Yes, this is George again. I'm going to fly my uh, very first airplane that I got when I first played this game two months ago. Sometimes it's good to go back to where you are, where you started out from, so it's okay. I'm uh, using a joystick now for a change instead of using the computer mouse to control the airplane. Supposedly, you know, you fly an airplane with joystick, so okay, back to joystick. Have to wean myself away from the mouse and uh, get used to the joystick. As I said, in this game, it's very, very difficult to aim with the joystick for some reason. All right, hopefully we do not have to wait too long. This little biplane is a uh, pre-World War II fighter. Biplanes are really nimble, you know, they turn and uh, quite easy to fly. But uh, the guns are really, really weak. But on the other hand, your enemies also have weak guns, so it all evens out. So, yeah. This is a tier one airplane. So, if you first joined this uh, game, this is the uh, airplane that the company will give to you so that you know how to play the game. This kill, you know, that's why I went back to this kill little airplane. I gave the airplane a paint job, you know, no salt and all this kind of stuff. So, I don't know if I gave a decal yet, but. Uh, you should really try to grab the airfield first because uh, it will generate more airplanes for you, for your team. You take out the white neutral planes and uh, you have to wait until the range comes within uh, gun range. That means when the numbers turn red. Come on, pick. Yeah, in this game, you know, the gun to overheat, even though you get unlimited ammo.
sometimes you know you get a lucky shot and uh the first two seconds you were sure down no uh, this guy's too big at least in my time nothing but no one else here so okay let's go back yeah sometimes i don't want to go up to slow up the big guys are tough to bring down. Okay, this guy. Yeah, see, a joystick is easier to control. I think the guy trying to steal my shot. That's okay. Get this sick. Okay, let's see, look at the big map. Uh, okay, maybe where should I go? Yeah, yeah, okay, let's head over here. Help these guys out. Look, this little guy. Uh, this is, oh. Okay, let's get this guy, a whole bunch of guys after him over here. The right side of triangle, this guy, Mr. He's a Walter Roy airplane. Hybrid fighter and a bomber. Uh, I mean, a uh, ground attack plane. I try not to use my sniper mode too much now because I read on the internet. They said don't use it. If I, you know, you could unless the plane's really far away. Okay, fine, so whatever. I'll be winning. I guess if I'm winning, we can see the top. The blue bar is longer. Victory is in sight. Keep it yeah. up. All the sectors are blue. I'm going to be control everything. I'm winning our airplane to shoot at. Maybe get this guy. Get this guy. Okay, get this guy. As I said, biplanes are easy. Yeah, joystick is easier to fight the airplane, you know, and the mouse. I think my gun will hit soon. We'll overfight this guy. Just curious how many airplanes I got. <laughs> Not that makes a difference. Because the more airplanes you shoot down, then uh, the more spare parts eh, that you will get to uh, upgrade or enhance, recalibrate your airplane. Only got eight. So, I don't know. I have a feeling that I'm flying against robots. Oh, by the way, I changed my call signs from Buddha 13 to Tiago so that. It won't be so obvious, you know, because it will be a call sign Buddha. I mean, it's not having a uh, target on your back, you know, and all the other airplanes. It's funny to go after Buddha, you know, so, yeah, so I switch it, you know. Yeah, it cost me 10 bucks to switch to a uh, robot name so that they won't come after me, you know. I'll be just part of the uh, super robot planes. So, yeah, so the change is good for two weeks, you know, at least. So, yeah, see what happens. Maybe I was go back to Buddha 13 again. But okay, all right, cool. Yeah, the joystick is not that bad. So, I guess just have to get used to it. Yeah.